Maxine Waters is not only a traitor to our nation, but she's not right in the head. In fact, the only people who are crazier than Maxine Waters are the people who support her. Ago, we asked a pretty obvious question on the show. How did Maxine Waters, a Democratic congressman, get so rich? Waters has held elected office for pretty much continuously 40 years. She represents one of the poorest districts in California. Yet somehow she lives in a $4.3 million mansion in one of the richest and whitest neighborhoods in L.A., which, by the way, is not even in her own district. Now, we're not alleging wrongdoing here, but really, how did that happen? The New York Times talked to Waters recently, and here's how she responded to this show in our question. Quoting now, I own several properties. The way he, me, talked about it is, what right does an African-American woman have to do well? He doesn't know anything about my investments, about the house that I've lived in for 25, 30 years. This idea of how could she afford that is racist, and I just dismiss it. In other words, we're bigots for asking the question. Are you surprised? I mean, what else was she going to say? By the way, it doesn't look like she's lived in that house for 25 or 30 years. Real estate records suggest she just bought it 13 years ago and has spent an awful lot since to remodel it. So again, where'd the money come from? Maybe she borrowed it from relatives. Since 2006, Waters has paid her own daughter $600,000 from campaign funds. Then there's her husband, who was once a director of One United Bank. Never heard of it? Well, in 2008, One United Bank got a $12 million taxpayer bailout after Waters encouraged the Treasury Department to take up the case. At the time, she did not disclose that her husband had worked there or that she still had stock holdings in that bank. Maybe those are the investments she mentioned. Or maybe she was referring to the more than $1 million the L.A. Times reported that her family has made by doing business with companies and people she's helped in Congress. By the way, that was almost 20 years ago. Now, some people think all this looks a little unseemly, if not criminal. One liberal group ranked Waters as among the most corrupt members of Congress. We are withholding judgment on that, despite the Congresswoman's name-calling, but we really would like a real answer. We've asked Waters to appear on this show many times to explain, and we're going to keep asking. Mr. Chairman, uh, Secretary Mnuchin, I want to make sure uh, that we're all operating here with the same understanding. Uh, even though you are not sworn in, uh, do you realize you are under oath? I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, are you familiar with the 20, uh, May 23rd letter I sent to you along with several of my Democratic colleagues on this committee? Yes, I am. Do you understand that this committee not only has jurisdiction but a responsibility to oversee the activities of the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network? Yes. Uh, given that the Treasury maintains these types of records and given your department's statements that the agency takes responsiveness to congressional requests very seriously and is committed to providing useful and appropriate responses to requests from congressional members, is there some reason why I did not get a response uh, to the letter that I sent May 23rd? So, uh, Ranking Member Waters, first of all, let me thank you for your service to California. Being a resident of California, uh, I appreciate everything that thank you've you done very much, for the community uh, I there. I don't want to take my time. I, I've, I also I have appreciated the opportunity to meet reclaiming with you my time. several times reclaiming my when time. we were doing our, our reclaiming my time. The time belongs to the gentle lady from California. Let me just say to you, uh, thank you for. Uh, your compliments about how great I am, but I don't want to waste my time on me. Uh, I want to know about the May 23rd letter. Uh, you know about it. Why did you not respond to me and my colleagues? I was going to answer that. Just please uh, go straight to and the answer. Mr. Chairman, I thought when you read the rules, you acknowledged that I shouldn't be interrupted and that I would have Reclaiming the my time. What he failed to tell you was, when you're on my time, I can reclaim it. I, he left that out, so I'm reclaiming my time. Please, will you respond to the question of why I did not get a response, me and my colleagues, to the May 23rd letter? Well, I was going to tell you my response. Just tell me. Okay. So, first of all, okay, let me just say that the Department of Treasury has cooperated extensively with the Senate Intel Committee, 
with the House reclaiming Intel my time, Committee, reclaiming with the Senate my time, Judiciary reclaiming Committee. My time, okay. Reclaiming Matter of my fact, time, Mr. Secretary, the, time. the time belongs to the gentlelady from California. Per perhaps, Mr. Chairman, I don't understand the rules because reclaiming I thought I was time, allowed to answer questions. Reclaiming my time, would you please explain the rules and do not take that away from my time? We will give the gentle lady adequate time. Okay. So uh, what I was saying is that we have provided substantial information. We believe there's significant overlap. And matter of fact, I would say that we spoke to your chief oversight counsel yesterday. We have been responsive, and we are trying to coordinate with you. Uh, the response, and we've suggested that you get the information through the other committees, but uh, I, I would like to emphasize we believe we've been very Reclaiming responsive. Claiming my time. And we'll continue Thank you to do so. Thank you very much. You left a message yesterday, or someone on staff left a message. No, we didn't leave a message. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. Counsel. Reclaiming my time. You did not respond. You left a message. Enough. We want real and complete news. Hi everyone, I'm Rob, and welcome to We Want Real News. I'm nobody special, I'm certainly not cute, I'm just an American. And I'm kind of responding to a call out from Sean Hannity saying, hey, we put a new president in place and we want change. And we put a business person in, and that business person is also putting good military people and CEOs in our leadership. And of course, the swamp needs to be drained, and the swamp is fighting back. And the media is the tools that they're using to strike back. So I want to put it in another perspective of some of these people that are involved and how the media is involved. Imagine Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren. Now imagine them as your neighbors. <laughs> Could you imagine them as your neighbors? They're the kind of neighbors that would go to your recycle bin and see if you sorted it right. Basically, they'd be the first ones to go to the association or homeowners association and snitch on you constantly. And that's the equivalent of our media. So once again, take the time to think about what I just said. Imagine those four people as your neighbors, what it would be like, and if you put it into our perspective. Now the big thing with our media is, is our homeowners association full of constructive people or are they power hungry? And you, you know, all of us feel about our homeowners association. Some of them think it's great, others say they're a pain. So it really depends on who's in those organizations. Well, that's true for our media too. And if our association or our media is not conducting themselves the way that we expect them to be, professional, open, honest, and balanced, then they shouldn't be there. So I hope that helps a little bit with the perspective of how we need to tell our media what we want and what we expect of them. We don't want their judgments, we just want the facts. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching We Want Real News. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Please take the time to visit both of our Facebook pages and get involved. The media needs to listen to us.
just represent blacks. We are American citizens. We have a right to work in our own country. You know that they have destroyed the black community and you do nothing. She is wrong. She's got to go. She's paid with taxpayers' money to discriminate against American citizens and we're not going to have it. She's been in office too long doing nothing. She lied. She had a job fair years ago and promised House Resolution 348. Look it up. Look up House Resolution 348 under Maxine Waters. She lied to the black community. Said she was going to bring us jobs. She gave those jobs to illegal criminals. That's what she's getting paid for. We want her out. She's been off this too long. She's already showing signs of dementia. We want her out. She's a hater and she's a racist. She's not going to divide this country with a hate. She's not going to be allowed to get away with it. We want her out. She's a criminal. Maxine Waters has her own Russian connection. Look it up. Maxine Waters has invested $200,000 into Russia stock. Look it up. Maxine Waters has invested $200,000 into Russia.